From young kids to grown adults, most people can't help but give in to their temptations whenever they get their hands on some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is the standard plastic wrap placed inside packages to protect any valuables being transported in them. However, this meaningless little utility plastic has been transformed into a much broader cultural phenomenon for one main reason. It is incredibly addictive when you start popping it. You see, the little air pockets that make up bubble wrap present the brain with stimulation every time we choose to pop one. In this video, we're going to be discussing why this little reaction is so satisfying to the brain. For one, humans are just fidgety in nature. Studies have proved that small fidget tools serve as a great relief for people, especially in stressful environments. This scientific discovery actually led to the rise of hundreds of new fidget tools around 2017, with the most famous examples being fidget spinners and fidget cubes. The thing with these small objects is that you can sink a lot of time into them when really, you're doing nothing, which helps the brain relax and wander to more calm thoughts. Bubble wrap can serve as just a small object to get your hands on and start fidgeting with, which helps it feel a lot more satisfying the brain. Bubble wrap isn't just satisfying because it's small, though, since it also happens to be strangely related to how our bodies work. Scientists have observed why cracking our knuckles can be so satisfying. The sound that we all know can show air being releases, and muscles easing tension. Our attempts as humans to ease muscle tension don't just end with cracking our knuckles, with many of us choosing to fidget with our bodies just to try to relieve stress and relax, like the famous finger tapping a lot of people do. Fidgeting with bubble wrap speaks to this muscle movement since air releasing from the pockets reminds us of tension in the body as relieved, and the flexible yet sturdy design also offers another parallel to the feelings we get with fidgeting with our own bodies. The air pops of bubble wrap play an even more significant role than being related to cracking your knuckles. You see, scientists have classified a specific part of the brain to be the controller of stimulus, and it handles every satisfying reaction that the brain gets. This part is called the autonomous sensory meridian response, and it causes the pleasurable tingle you can sometimes get after partaking in a satisfying activity. The sound and general feeling caused by the pop of air is directly linked to this response part of the brain, and it causes dopamine to be released. This release of dopamine affects a lot of the brain, and it is instrumental in creating the sort of momentary bliss that you can get from merely popping a few of the air pockets. A release of dopamine is linked to a lot of activities, whether it's drinking a can of Coca-Cola or winning a football game, dopamine is generally considered to be the happiness chemical. When released, we often get a feeling of satisfaction and completion. The problem is that many humans have gotten used to this feeling, and the more you repeat a single activity that used to make you happy, the more used to it you become. This can actually build addictions, particularly to things like sugar and drugs. Becoming used to the release in dopamine means that a lot of things make you less happy. For example, if you play the same game over and over again, not only can that game stop giving you joy, but the general feeling you get from playing games can go down for a while. This is why bubble wrap is so enticing for the autonomous sensory meridian response. It is unlike a lot of other reactions the brain gets on a constant basis since no one is really popping things that often, so just popping some bubble wrap from time to time works as an exponentially useful relief when compared to other activities that provide satisfaction, only at a lower scale when done for the same amount of time. These observed reasons are strangely all combined in a way that causes this random bubble contraption to serve as an excellent relief tool for people all over. It's not like it was at all designed to be so satisfying, but the benefit of being able to pop some bubbles every time you get a package has elevated it to the level of use it is at now, with it being found in all sorts of packages. We hope you learned from this video, and maybe the next time you get a package, you can understand why you find such joy in spending some time to pop the bubbles that came with it. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be much appreciated, and we also recommend that you subscribe so you can catch the next video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you at the next one.